Well, in 2001, uh, the kid's mother was diagnosed with uh, kidney failure. And what happened at that time, it was very difficult very devastating for our family from the standpoint uh, you know a lot of people are you know are transplant candidates but because of some antibodies she had and some uh, different issues uh, she wasn't a good match and uh, we, she never was able to we were never were able to find a kidney the kids and I had to make the decision uh, to discontinue life support And so at that point, at 59 years old, I'm alone for the first time in my life. My kids weren't in town, and I didn't have any family in town. Even though I was working and whatnot, at the end of the day, I was alone when I came home at night. A lot of my friends were still married because, you know, just being in your 50s, it's, it's not like you've got uh, other widower friends that you can kind of hang out with and do things with. So after I became widowed, I decided personally for me that I was not going to date or seek out any kind of a relationship for uh, at least a year. And the reason why I felt that way, I felt like I needed to sort through some things and because of what I'd seen, I'd, I was determined no matter what, I was not going to put my family through that. In 2010, um, I found myself uh, divorced again for the second time. I had um, been involved in marriages that both resulted in infidelity. So my thoughts on men were not real high. Um, quite frankly, I didn't know if I'd ever want to date again because I felt like um, all men were cheaters. That's what I had experienced and that was just my perception. So I focused the next two years on my high school age son, Barrett. Um, he had been the one that had to tell me of his father's unfaithfulness. And so it was, it was more difficult for him to get through it. So for the next two years, that's what I focused on were my children. And um, and okay, he's gone away to school now. I'm really alone for the first time in 24 years. I divorced in 2010, but prior to that, I'd lost my only sibling in 2009. I had lost my um, mother in 2012, the same year that my daughter got married. I lost my dad in 2013. So I, was, I really felt alone. I didn't have any family. Uh, you know, to talk through things with. Um, so that was a that was a hard time. That was a really difficult time.